All right. So, right here we have the Taramp Smart 8. And we're going to clamp it on this one bank of 26 amp hour C-Max. And then we're going to take this, this battery bank and remove it and replace it with a uh, single bank of 10 amp hour Skibs. So the 26 amp hour Panasonic is the strongest of the, the, two, chem, the, the two batteries. You got the small uh, Panasonic five and a half amp hour batteries that were fused at 150 amps of current in the, the hybrid vehicles. And then in the fully electric vehicles, you had these large Panasonic 26 amp hour cells, and they were fused at 225 amps of current. So these are 50% stronger than the small cells, and they have roughly five times the reserve. So I'm not even going to argue that point with anybody. If you don't understand uh, how batteries work, then that's your issue and not mine. I'm just going to show you, I'm going to compare the strongest cell that the uh, Panasonic had for the Ford C-Max vehicles versus the strongest cells that Toshiba made for their vehicles or whatever, you know, whatever use that they had for theirs, the uh, 10 amp hour skibs. So the, uh, the 10 amp hour skibs, they're rated for 75 C, which is 750 amps of current. So we're going to find out which, uh, which battery can produce more power. Now I have seen a few different videos comparing C max to skibs and people saying this, that, and the other or whatever, and people testing with, uh, heat guns and this, that, and the other. I'm going to show you what these, what these, uh, batteries are capable of on an actual amplifier because that's what matters we don't run heat guns off of our batteries well you know some people don't a lot of people don't but that's uh that's beside the point so we're going to uh let me make sure this tablet is set up for the right one number clamp meter one And that's why it was beeping. Let me turn it off and then back on. All right, so now we're going to put it on maximum. Maximum current. Now I've did some testing prior, obviously. So volume 40 is going to be... Volume 40 is going to be the... Uh, maximum volume that would be considered clean now this amplifier is not going to go into clipping so i can't show you a clean versus clipped what i'm going to show you is uh no smart tech kicking in versus the smart tech kicking in i'm going to show you how much power that this battery can pull out of this amplifier so all right so let's just get to it volume 44 Smart Tech did not kick in. So we've got 3,307 watts, 379 amperes of current, and the voltage drop. We dropped down to 10.72 volts. Okay. That's what we have right there. Now, let's reset this stuff. We'll go back to maximum current. Minimum voltage. Peak hold. And we're going to go up one click. And that should take us into smart tech kicking in. Now, watch the... Uh, Watch the waveform on the screen and you'll see it jump up and down, up and down. That's the smart tech kicking in. All right, now I could hear it 
in the resistors and everything, you could hear the smart tech kicking in. So, volume 45, that is uh, 4,132 watts. And we pulled 574 amperes of current. And we dropped down to eight. <laughs> 8.79 volts okay just in case you didn't see it right here 8.79 volts that's what we dropped down to the minimum voltage all right so now we're going to do the 10 amp hour skib okay and it's going to be charged to the same to the same voltage now i should have i should have written that down that was like 15.3 i think it was so we're at 15.1 right now so let me turn the amplifier off now i'm going to have to disconnect the battery me uh, back up here and I'll show you what I'm doing move this stuff out of the way and I want I want to uh, also say the power and ground it's about 16 inches 15 inches to 16 inches long on both batteries So, I'm going to take this one, I'm going to put it to the side, and then I'm going to take this 10 amp hour skid bank, and I'm going to hook it up in the exact same way. And again, this amplifier is not going to clip because of the smart technology, the smart tech. Okay, that's why I cannot show you clean versus clipping. But I am sh going to show you no smart tech versus smart tech kicking in. All right, so let's put the camera back. camera back where it was all right so now let's put the uh, clamp back on here we're gonna clear it out we're gonna put put the clamp back on maximum and we're gonna put the uh, voltage back on minimum All right, now we're starting, like I said, the, the banks, they started out the exact same voltage. And now the skip bank can go up to volume 47 without the smart tech kicking in. So here's, here's volume 47. Let's make sure there are clamps working on the screen yeah <clears throat> so watch the uh watch the oscilloscope screen like oh uh, let's turn the amp on first that'd be good all right so the amplifier is back on all right so Let's clear out this, uh, where the amp turned on, it pulled some juice. All 
All right, so we're at 15.39 volts starting. So that's very similar to the where the C-Max was starting from. So, all right, here we go. Volume 47. No smart tech kicking in. All right. So, we've got volume 47. 6,525 watts with no smart tech kicking in. And then we pulled 698 amperes of current and we dropped down to 12.08 volts DC. Now let's go up to volume 48. Let's uh, reset all this stuff. So maximum current, see we're at 15.35 volts, so it rebounded exactly right back where it was. So we'll go minimum voltage drop, and then let's uh, reset that for peak hold. Now volume 48 has one more click. Uh, now watch the screen again when a, when a smart tech kicks in you'll see the the waveform it'll it'll jump up and down because the smart tech's kicking in all right so now volume 48 we've got 7390 watts we pulled 805 amperes of current we drop down to 11.82 volts DC. I want to turn everything off. <clears throat> so let me zoom out. So, I mean, there's the results. Both of these batteries, the strongest batteries from each uh, manufacturer, each company, you know, I hear people say, oh, CMAX is the best, Skibs are the best, blah, blah, blah. I mean, th these are the results of this test. I mean, you've seen it as I perform the test. Um, I don't falsify information. I like both of these batteries. You know, I've ran the, the 26 amp hour C-Max batteries for about three or four years in my van. Uh, I like them. They do a really good job. But... Right here, the 10 amp hour skibs outperform the 26 amp hour C Max. And for the ones that are going to be saying, oh, well, you should have tested the five and a half amp hour, you know what? The five and a half, half the 5.5 amp hour C Max cells uh, are not capable of discharging the amount of current that the, the large 26 amp hour C Max cells are, plain and simple plain and simple i've done the testing i've ran them I've, I've ran all these batteries i know what they can do i know what they can't do um and you know the ones that want to argue with with actual good testing there's no helping you you know i'm sorry if, if you're just you know too stubborn and hard-headed to to look at the the test results and see what it is i mean it is what it is uh like I said, I like the Skibs. I like the C-Max batteries. They're, you know, there's nothing wrong with either one. The key, and get this, the key to any battery is to build your battery bank large enough to handle the current draw. Neither one of these batteries are big enough for this amplifier. Okay, so let's just get that 
out front. Neither one of these battery banks are big enough to support this amplifier. But this amplifier was big enough to show exactly how much power that each one of these batteries can discharge. Okay, that's the reason for the test. To show, to pull every bit of juice out of the batteries as, as we can. So, again, build your battery banks to the correct size, no matter what chemistry you use, no matter what voltage that you're charging to, you need to uh, get the correct battery chemistry for the voltage that you're charging to, but you also need to build the battery bank to the correct size for the amplifier power that you need to support, okay? So, you know, this isn't a, uh, a witch hunt on which battery is better or whatever. This is just a test to show you what each one can do, okay? C-Max is the best. Skibs are the best. Look, just build your battery to the correct size, and then you won't have any issues, period. All right, that's all for this one.